Hey everyone, over the last couple of days, I've had a number of talks and the same questions, the same conversation kept happening. So I thought I would create a video of my top three tips to be a great cloud architect. So what's the difference between an okay or good and a great architect? So I've been an enterprise architect for probably 25 years now. The last 10 of those have been focused around cloud-based architectures. But really the things that differentiate that good and great remain the same. So my number one is going to be communication. If you can't communicate well, you can't get to the heart of what the customer really needs. You won't be able to articulate the solution to them in a manner in which they can understand and carry forward. Now, everyone is different. So the first thing I like to do is actually try and just sit back and listen at the start. Pick up how they like to communicate, the level they are technically, the types of language they use, and then I'll adjust the way I communicate to match the manner in which they're going to best be able to understand and digest what I'm saying. And then we ask questions so I can understand what they really care about, what they want to achieve. And it's always a dialogue. I don't want to present at people. It wants to be a very natural conversation. It doesn't feel like an inquisition. If I don't understand something, if maybe I think there's another option, if even if internally I disagree, help me understand. That's the way I will present these things. I never want to try and embarrass or show off in front of a customer. You want to be their partner. You want to be trusted by all of the different levels involved. So I always focus on asking about possible alternatives. Have you considered this? Um, what are some of the reasons that maybe you looked at that drove you to this current solution or what is driving this requirement? Because remember, I don't have all the history. So I always want to help me understand. Did you ever look at or consider? Get to the heart of what they care about. And this is not just customers. Think about all the people you interact with, you collaborate with. And I would really try and say, don't just emulate others and try and just copy their style. If you have a certain style that works for you, lean into it. I love to whiteboard. I like to combine the visual with the audio. I think having two senses engaged helps confirm my understanding of what they're saying. I'll draw down what they're saying and kind of repeat it back. It might prompt them to discuss things internally. But then when I'm trying to explain, hey, I'm drawing it, they're visually seeing it, they're hearing me, I find for me and my style, that's the best way to convey information and confirm my understanding of information. But if you have a different style, maybe you create PowerPoints, whatever it is, lean into a style that's comfortable for you. Because if you're comfortable, you're going to communicate that much better. Seek to understand. I think this is the second most important thing. A customer asks, well, we want to do this solution in the cloud or this solution. Never just take the ask and map it to something. Understand what is the driving core requirement. Why do you want to run this thing in the cloud? I want to think about, well, what has driven you to this? Um, what is this actually achieving for you? It may be their ask is the correct solution but maybe it's bogged down in requirements that don't exist anymore that's misunderstood. It may be there are other more efficient ways to actually solve it. So it's okay to think outside the box. Don't limit yourself. Don't have a preconceived idea of, I want to solve it with this. You want to go in and listen, understand the asks, the requirements, and then think about what are the capabilities I'll need. And then as we'll get to, at the end, I might then slot in solutions and services that meet the things I need to do. But I'm going to keep asking questions. Seek to always get to the core root requirement. What would it look like if we? I can position possible futures, possible solutions, which will then drive them to think certain ways, which will drive them to question things. And again, have the dialogue. That's key to everything. And always consider the business impact. Um, we're not doing things for fun. We're not doing technology for the sake of technology. What is this impact to the business? That helps understand its criticality, but always make sure we understand what it means to the business. So a core understanding. 
you need to be curious. Um, you want to experiment to find out how things work. You want to find out how they work, when they don't work, uh, how they work with other things. So keep testing and experiment. Always be curious about everything. The pace of innovation today is insane. It's impossible to know everything in lots of detail, but at least get a base understanding of things. And I think the best way to do that is hands-on. So you experiment, you're curious, you try and solve different things, you think of scenarios, and you work on that. A lot of very experienced architects I work with have imposter syndrome. They don't feel like they know enough. And the reality is you don't need to know everything. It's impossible. It's impractical to know everything about even one of the clouds. Anyone who says they're an expert in every cloud is a liar. It's impossible. But we always think about the T shape. So what you want to have is a very broad knowledge of many different things. And you want to know what can it do? What sort of problems does it solve? How does it work with other things? And then maybe considerations around its HADR, security scale, cost. So think about having that very broad set of knowledge to know, well, these tools exist and they solve these problems. And then once you decide, okay, well, I, which of these should I actually use? Well, you can go and research. You work with a team. You're not a lone wolf. You can absolutely go and get and partner with other people. But I think you have to have those fundamentals. You have to understand network implications and latency and identity and security and governance and resiliency and how things scale and automation. Like have those key building block capabilities and then sure, understand how the different tools will actually go and work with that. Be part of a community. Uh, you can share what you have learned, both good and bad, things that have worked, things that doesn't work. You can listen and learn from other people. Um, and yeah, keep an open mind. You shouldn't go in with, you know, I really like Kubernetes or I really like whatever the thing is. Understand the requirements. Think about well, what are the capabilities, the types of service I'm going to need to align and meet the requirement. And then sure, I can actually slot in different types of resources and solutions for the capabilities I'm actually going to need. But always try and think systems, capabilities first, and then sure, right at the end, I can actually go and slot in particular services to meet those requirements. And this is not a tip. I think this is fundamental. Do the right thing for the customer. You want to earn trust, build trust, maintain the trust. We should never be betraying trust for a transaction. We should never be betraying the trust. If there is a misalignment between maybe what you believe is the solution and what is right for the customer and maybe an account team, you discuss that with the account team away from the customer. Um, there are salespeople that will tell stories about me that I've pushed back. I've refused to do something. I've refused to bring a certain partner because I don't believe it actually aligns with those customer interests. And ultimately, I don't think it's rocket science. Be a decent human being. Be genuine. If you make a mistake, own it and correct it. But go in there with the mindset of, I'm going to help you the best way I and the team can. So just have that as your goal. I'm going to help you. I'm going to move you forward. I'm going to solve the problem. And we're going to work together, both as the customer and myself, and myself and my team. We are going to work together to do the best possible solution we can. So those are my uh, top three tips when I think about being a great cloud architect. You want to have great communication. Always seek to understand and have that curiosity. Be willing to go and experiment and try all the different things out. Hope that helps. Until next video, take care.